Good morning and welcome back. Well, it's the number one killer of both men and women. And this morning we're talking about heart disease and how it specifically affects women. Joining us this morning from Gunderson Health System is Dr. Isosa Okon. Dr. Okon, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, now, when talking about heart disease, uh, obviously we mentioned there that it's the number one killer for both men and women, but does it affect genders differently? And if so, how? That's a great question. Um, it certainly affects uh, gender differently because let, let, let's look at the statistics here. One in four women die from heart disease. And if we compare that to cancer, where I think almost everybody had, knows someone that has had breast cancer or some sort of cancer, one in 30 women die from best breast cancer. So it is definitely the number one killer of women in the United States. And also the different kinds of heart disease. When people talk about heart disease, um, I think most of the time they just think about a heart attack. But we also worry about heart failure in women, um, irregular heart rhythms in women, and how that plays out in their long-term outcomes. What are some signs of those irregular heart rhythms or heart failure? How, do, how can we prevent it? Uh, well, Prevention is pretty much the standard prevention that the American Heart Association recommends. So eating healthy, uh, eating lots of fruits and vegetables, keeping an active lifestyle, modifying your risk, risk factors, um, smoking. If you smoke, that's not a good thing. Um, you should stop smoking. Um, alcohol use, no more than one drink. Pre uh, preference, uh, preferably no alcohol use is better. Um, modifying the risk factors like hypertension. If you have high blood pressure, you want to see your doctor regularly. You want to make sure that that's controlled. Uh, if you have an irregular heart rhythm, that may be something that might signify you have what we call atrial fibrillation, which is a dangerous heart rhythm that can cause stroke. And so you want to take medications to prevent the complications. So you can feel things like palpitations, like your heart fluttering in your chest. And if you have heart failure, you might have shortness of breath. You might have some uh, leg swelling. You might have abdominal fullness. Uh, you might just be feeling tired when you've not even done anything. And of course, the coronary heart disease is the number one killer, which is a blockage in your arteries. And when you have that, you can have chest pain. You can have nausea, vomiting, lightheadedness, back pain, jaw pain. So it's a range of symptoms that in women can be nonspecific. Now, uh, looking at medical science over the past uh, recently really uh, any disease treatment has been grown by leaps and bounds but uh, when looking at uh, somebody who's had a heart attack somebody who's been diagnosed with an irregular rhythm things like that real quickly because we're running out of time what's the outlook like for somebody I think the outlook is pretty good if you see your doctor regularly and take the evidence-based medications all right good dr. Ocon that's all the time we have this morning thanks so much for joining us